And now I'd like to present Mr. Warner Brothers Pictures. From the institution of the same name, my good friend and current landlord, Jack L. Warner. Thank you, Bob. It was just 30 years ago. It was my privilege then, as one of the founders of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, to be present at the very first Academy Awards. Through the year, these selections have come to represent the voice of the industry and the recognition of excellence in the making of motion pictures. And tonight, it is my privilege to present a gentleman who personifies that industry, the distinguished president of the Motion Picture Association of America, Mr. Eric Johnson. Thank you. Wherever he lives, whatever his native tongue, there is one language for which a schoolboy needs no interpreter, a motion picture. It is the most best and most useful eraser of international frontiers that has yet been devised. Certainly that fact is amply shown in this year's nominees for the best foreign language pictures. It is my real pleasure to present to you tonight this winner. But first, I think I should tell you who the candidates are. They are Harry and the Butler, the Bent Christensen Productions from Denmark. The Immortal Love, Sochiku Company from Japan. Animus to Hanyo, The Important Man, Peliculus Rodicris from Mexico. Placido, Jet Films from Spain and through a glass darkly, Svensk Film Industry from Sweden. Now the winner is... Ooh, through a dark, through a glass darkly, from Sweden. Accepting for Sweden, Harriet Anderson. And you told me you wouldn't win it. You remember that? Oh, it's <laughs> I'm sorry that Ingmar is not here. I mean, Mr. Bergman. But um, he's just started to write his no, new picture, so then he never leave the country. <laughs> Thank you very much from him. <laughs> <laughs> 